So this here is the toroid room. Um, if we take a peek inside, this is what it looks like. So this is based upon a very famous image inside the Atlas detector. If we come over here, um, we have this mural which is made out of maps. Um, if I just take one of these and look at it in my hands, um, it's just a pixel art that we have imported into the game. Um, and so this room is all based around um, that one image and the idea here was to explore the area and climb about um, and you can see reference images over there is a mural um, which is on the outside of the atlas buildings um, so that was just a little um, little fun thing to fill up this wall um, only took a few minutes to build um, so over here you'll notice there is a broken ladder um, which we'll get to in just a minute that's for the secret dies which can be found and collected in all of the Fitzharry's rooms if we come up this ladder here um, you'll see there's an information booklet much like the muon spectrometer room um, which just has simple information about the toroids um, and we can drop down here um, up the top right here we have just like in the muon spectrometer room we have a fun fact machine if we press it and wait a few seconds you'll see you get a fact down the bottom again there are multiple random facts you can get from it um, we'll get to that button in a second uh, and over here the um, simulation room um, is based around toroids so um, as you'll see here we have uh, two lots of um, uh, redstone lamps and only the right one is turned on at the moment and at the bottom we have our particles which are um, being curved at the moment if you watch their path this yellow line as is explained here uh, shows the curved path of them so what this is if I switch the toroids off you'll see that the particles just travel uh, straight forwards um, sometimes it's got a little bit of a delay but um, you'll find out why in a second and then we can turn the left toroid on and because toroids are big magnets it will curve the path of the particles coming through and the same happens if we turn the right one it will curve the path over to that side um, and sometimes they do get stuck but they, they come unstuck pretty quickly um, and also you can click the buttons and they will move um, but that is a slight flaw with the design but there's not really a way out of that problem and then you just get a little greeting or exit uh, message saying I hope you enjoyed um, and here we just have an image displaying um, all of the different um, toroids so the end caps the barrel toroids and the central solenoid which is located in the middle um, so that's all the information in this room um, onto the secret dies there are quite a few hidden in this room first of all this one over here you can access it if you climb up this ladder um, you can oh if you're better at the game um, you can walk across I believe there's actually some barrier blocks so that makes life easier um, but yeah these are just meant to be um, either tricky to get to or just uh, random occurrences for example the randomizer over there there is a chance that it could give you a secret die instead um, so this gives you the red secret die and as you can see here um, there are some purple um, bars which actually is because if we click the button here you'll see there are some purple particles that travel down the center of the room it's a very subtle detail and you probably won't be able to notice it if you weren't paying attention but if you figured it out from the purple bars then um, you'd know for sure 
and if we go up here um, our other button over on this side um, gives you jump boost which then is just long enough to allow you to jump up here and right behind is your black die um, and there is one more die in the toroid area and if we go in the simulation room you'll see there's a green splodge on the floor and if you can manage to curve the particles just right they can fall inside that um, green patch and you'll get yourself a green die so that was the toroid room by Fitzharry's in the um, Atlas Detector uh, Atlas Craft Map. If you want to know how this works, um, let's come over here. This is a very simple redstone circuit. It just senses if there's a player nearby and gives them night vision. Um, the 13 is the amount of seconds for 13 seconds um, because if it's lower than 10 seconds and there's a 3 second delay, if it's lower than 10 seconds um, then your screen begins to flash. The 1 is um, the amplifier and true is a built-in um, function which makes it so that the icon doesn't appear in the top right and the particles um, have vanished. Over here this is the randomizer it's exactly the same as the random fat machine over there um, apart from this one just um, has uh, a redstone block placed down here by a set block command and then it's removed by this command block right here um, and last but not least this uh, circuit is really awesome um, if you liked the sheep in the muon spectrometer room then you'll like this so this is um, testing for a player within a radius of 10 so essentially just inside this room um, and if you want to know what this room is it is um, the main room in here you may have caught a glimpse of what's going on there um, this is actually summoning invisible wolves stacked on top of each other um, if we take a quick peek inside this command block um, and click done you'll see that it's summoning wolves um, that are invisible and then there's an ender pole sat on top of it um, and so they'll spawn down here and there will be sheep in certain spots um, and the wolves of course will be attracted to the sheep and will run towards them and then drop down here um, very nice and simple um, now this is actually carpet on the bottom layer because it's just enough height so that the wolves can move um, but not too open so that um, they can jump up and down um, so wolves normally jump up and down when they're running because they're trying to attack the sheep and that would mean that the particles bob up and down whilst they're going across and we didn't want that so we put carpet down the bottom this is a simple just trip wire trick this is pushing the wolves that fall on this platform off um, in this direction and this is just giving you the secret die over here and then they'll drop out down into the same um, exit chute um, and yeah these toroids controlled by the buttons over here um, are the complex part of this so um, it's run with redstone these are um, RS nor latches um, which are I'm not gonna explain in detail because that's for different videos to show you about um, but essentially these all um, when you press a button uh, the output will come over here so this is for the left toroid so it turns the left lights on um, and also um, whilst it's at it it will come over here and this is first of all killing the sheep and the minecart entity 
um, then it erases all of the items in the area and finally it sums the sheep in the new area but the timing for that was a bit um, tough to figure out um, you need to do the sheep first then the items and last but not least spawning the sheep and so that's how that whole system works um, and of course this command block right here is just to teleport away and um, so that was the behind the scenes of the Torah Dream made by Fitzharris.